Question 4.2 consists of one question that was designed to assess your understanding of water tariffs. Annex A shows a comparison of water tariffs for Cape Town, Ethiquini, Erkuleni and Johannesburg. This question only requires you to make a comparison between Cape Town and Erkuleni, so Johannesburg and Ethiquini information is not needed for this question. So if you make the mistake of using the incorrect areas, you will get the entire question wrong. In this question, John stated that if he chooses to live in Cape Town, he will be paying 3,600 Rand more per year compared to a person living in Erkuleni who uses an average amount of 45 kiloliters of water per month. You will have to prove by means of calculation whether his statement is correct. So analyzing the table in Annex C, we see that we will be using these two parts in the table. This part is used to compare the water tariffs in Ethiquini and Johannesburg and this part of the table is the water tariffs for commercial and industrial entities. Since John will be using water as a resident, this part of the table will not be needed. Now, water tariffs are usually calculated on a sliding scale. What this means is if you use 45 kiloliters of water, then you will have to calculate the water usage for each step up to step 4, which is the step for water consumption above 35 kiloliters. So the total cost for the water consumption will be the sum of the cost of all four steps plus the fixed monthly cost if there are any fixed costs for that area. A fixed monthly cost is the cost that must be paid even if you don't use any water for that month. Mathematically, the process for calculating the total water consumption of 45 kiloliters in Cape Town will look like this. In step 1, the range is 0 to 6 kiloliters. The maximum amount of water that can be used in this step is 6 kiloliters. The tariff for this step is 15 rand 10 cents per liter. So the cost for step 1 will be 6 kiloliters of water multiplied by 15 rand 10 cents per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 90 rand 60 cents. In step 2, the range of water consumption is greater than 6 kiloliters to 10,5 kiloliters. The maximum amount of water that can be charged for in this step is 10,5 kiloliters minus 6 kiloliters and this equals a maximum amount of water of 4,5 kiloliters. This means that you will be charged 20 rand 75 cents per kiloliter up to a maximum of 4.5 kiloliters of water consumption. You must find the difference between the maximum value in step 2 and the maximum value in step 1 because you have already been charged for the usage of 6 kiloliters of water in step 1. So the cost for step 2 will be 4,5 kiloliters multiplied by 20 rand 75 cents per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 93 rand 38 cents. In step 3, the range of water consumption is greater than 10,5 kiloliters and 35 kiloliters. The maximum amount of water that can be charged for in this step is 35 kiloliters minus 10,5 kiloliters. This equals a maximum amount of water of 24,5 kiloliters. This means that you will only be charged 28 rand 20 cents per kiloliter up to a maximum of 24,5 kiloliters of water consumption. You must find the difference between the maximum value in step 3 and the maximum value in step 2 because you have already been charged for the usage of 10,5 kiloliters of water in step 1 and step 2. So the cost for step 3 will be 24,5 kiloliters multiplied by 28 rand 20 cents per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 690 rand 90 cents. In step 4, the range of water consumption is greater than 35 kiloliters to any amount above 35 kiloliters. Because a maximum amount of 45 kiloliters of water is used on average per month, the maximum amount of water that will be charged for is 45 kiloliters minus 35 kiloliters. This equals a maximum amount of water of 10 kiloliters. This means that in step 4 you will only be charged 52 rand 4 cents for 10 kiloliters of water consumption. You must find the difference between the maximum water consumption of 45 kiloliters and the maximum value in step 3 because you have already been charged for the water usage of 35 kiloliters of water in step 1, step 2 and step 3. So the cost for step 4 will be 10 kiloliters multiplied by 52 rand 4 cents per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 520 rand 40 cents.
Now the total cost of water consumption for the usage of 45 kiloliters of water in Cape Town is the sum of all four steps plus the fixed monthly cost of 10450 cents. This will give us a total cost of 1499.78 cents. Next you will have to calculate the total cost of water consumption for Air Kuruleni. In step 1, the range is 0 to 6 kiloliters. The maximum amount of water that can be used in this step is 6 kiloliters. The tariff for this step is 13 rand 50 cents per kiloliter. So the cost for step 1 will be 6 kiloliters of water multiplied by 13 rand 50 per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 81 rand. In step 2, the range of water consumption is greater than 6 kiloliters to 15 kiloliters. The maximum amount of water consumption that can be charged for in this step is 15 kiloliters minus 6 kiloliters. This equals a maximum amount of 9 kiloliters. This means that you will be charged 22 rand 24 cents per kiloliter up to a maximum of 9 kiloliters of water consumption. You must find the difference between the maximum value in step 2 and the maximum value in step 1 because you have already been charged for the usage of 6 kiloliters in step 1. So the cost for step 2 will be 9 kiloliters multiplied by 22 rand 24 cents per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 200 rand 16 cents. In step 3 the range of water consumption is greater than 15 kiloliters to 30 kiloliters. The maximum amount of water that can be charged for in this step is 30 kiloliters minus 15 kiloliters. This gives you a maximum amount of water of 15 kiloliters. This means that you will only be charged 27 rand 24 cents per kiloliter up to a maximum of 15 kiloliters of water consumption. You must find the difference between the maximum value in step 3 and the maximum value in step 2 because you have already been charged for the usage of 15 kiloliters of water in step 1 and step 2. So the cost for step 3 will be 15 kiloliters multiplied by 27 rand 24 cents per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 408 rand 60 cents. In step 4 the range of water consumption is greater than 30 kiloliters to 45 kiloliters. Because a maximum amount of 45 kiloliters of water is used on average per month, the maximum amount of water that will be charged for is 45 kiloliters minus 30 kiloliters. This equals a maximum amount of 15 kiloliters. This means that you will only be charged 33 rand 90 cents for 15 kiloliters of water consumption. Here again you must find the difference between the maximum water consumption of 45 kiloliters and the maximum value in step 3 because you have already been charged for the usage of 30 kiloliters of water in step 1, step 2 and step 3. So the cost for step 4 will be 15 kiloliters multiplied by 33 rand 90 cents per kiloliter and this equals a cost of 508 rand 50 cents. Now the total water consumption for the usage of 45 kiloliters of water in Erkuruleni is the sum of all four steps. This will give us a total cost of 1198.26 cents. Note that there is no fixed monthly cost for Erkuruleni. Now that you have calculated the monthly charge for both Cape Town and Erkuruleni, you have to find the difference between the cost between these two areas. So the difference in the total cost is 1,499.78 cents minus 1,198.26 cents and this equals 301.52 cents per month. This amount must now be multiplied by 12 months of the year to get you the difference in the total cost per year. This will equal a difference of 3,618.24 cents per year. Since John stated that the cost per year in Cape Town will be 3,600 rand more than Erku Leni, and you have proved that it's actually 3,618 rand 24 cents more, you must state that the statement is incorrect. Not making this final statement will result in you losing one mark. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this and you can check out this video next.